Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Position by Changing Dimensions demo. In this demo, we're going to look at the new feature that allows us to change dimensions precisely by changing our measurements. To do this, I've just got a quick little sample kitchen up here. And if we look at my sink, we'll notice I have an inch and a half space here. And I want to move my dishwasher over an inch and a half so that I've got the same spacing. Now before you'd have to put something in there or continually move that cabinet or do the math and then enter it in by your edit. But we've got a new way that makes it much easier. And what I'm going to do is first is I'm going to start by placing a dimension. Now what you want to do is you want to place this dimension. You want to start by placing it on the item that you want to move. That is going to be our first dimension line. Now we're going to move over here and move it to the dimension to, or to the uh, line that we want to move to. And we'll just do a single click to get it set there. And now we want to right click and go to our dimension. And here we want to go to edit. Our edit box pops up here. Right now I have eight and a half inches there. But I want to make this just an inch and a half. So I'm going to click in there with my mouse, backspace, type in one for my inch and a half, and hit enter. And now we're moved over, so we've got an inch and a half space here. If, for instance, we wanted to place a cabinet out here for an island, I'm just going to grab a new cabinet, and drop it out here. We can drop it out here on our layout, and we can use our dimension feature again. Remember, we want to start with the cabinet that we want to move. Dimension it up here. And again, starting with the cabinet we want to move to the area we want to dimension it to. Go to Dimension, Edit. I want to do, let's just go really minimum 36 inches. Hit Enter. And again for this one. And this time, because I got the range there, I want to go a little bit bigger. I want to make it 42 inches. A little more walk array over there. And here we have it. We've got 42, 36. Quick, easy, simple. Doesn't get any easier or any simpler to put in the exact dimension and locate items exactly where you want them to be. The one thing I do want to reiterate uh, here is that if you do this backwards, we'll change this one here. And I'm going to click on my sink base this time and drag it out here. If we do it this way, it always moves the, the item that we start with. So if I go here, change this up to 42, and hit enter, it's going to move our sink base back through the wall. So remember where you start is where you want it to end up at. Or where you start from is the one you want to move. So keep that in mind. I'm going to do a backup here as you're doing this and enjoy this new feature. I know it's going to make your designing in Pro Kitchen much, much faster. Again, quick, easy, simple. Thank you for watching this Pro Kitchen demo.